As you hit the power button, make sure to hold down the buttons Command R until this apple comes up on the screen. This will boot you into recovery mode. Once you're in recovery mode, you're going to go up to the top where it says Utilities, click that, and go to Terminal. Once Terminal opens, you're going to type Reset Password and hit Enter. Now, you select the drive, you select what user you want, and you type in your new password. Click Save, click OK. This is telling you that it will not change the keychain password, only the user password. Close out and restart. Do not hold Command R as the computer loads this time. Now you can log in with your new password. It will come up and say, do you want to create a new keychain, continue using the old one, etc. You can try creating a new, but you need to know the old keychain password. You are now logged in. You can't do things that require an admin password for your keychain, but you can use the computer. Because it's so easy to change a password, it's probably good to set up a firmware password. And you do that almost exactly the same way. Once you restart, hold down Command R and let it boot into recovery. Once you enter recovery, you're going to click Utilities at the top again and Firmware Password Utility. Click Enable Firmware Password and enter whatever you would like to use for your password. Click Save Password and you're all done. You can restart. Now, if you were to hold down Command R, you would see a screen that looks similar to this. If you don't hold down Command R, the computer just starts normally. The purpose of the firmware password is to stop people from being able to go onto your computer and reset the password or reinstall the OS without your permission. Hope that helps. Have a wonderful day.